All right, guys, I want to give you a brief overview of how Emblem Vault works. I know there's been a lot of questions, so I just wanted to give you a high-level overview. If you wanted to take a Nakamoto card, which lives on Counterparty on Bitcoin, and you wanted to sell it on OpenSea on Ethereum, what you're going to do is you're going to create an Emblem Vault on Ethereum. And when that vault is created, what happens is it creates a bunch of wallets, and one of those wallets is going to be a Bitcoin wallet. And when it creates that wallet, the private key lives inside of an NFT, that NFT, that vault on Ethereum. You don't know that private key. We don't know that private key. That private key is encrypted inside of that NFT. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take your Nakamoto card and you're going to send it to the wallet that that private key controls. Okay. Now you can fully trade that asset, stake it, um, take loans against it, on Ethereum. And what we're building with Emblem Vault now is we're building a jump feature, which is going to allow you to take that private key. Let's say you want to take it to a metaverse on Solana. You're going to be able to take that private key, move it into an NFT on Solana with basically one button, with basically one jump tool. Emblem's going to allow you to move that private key to an NFT on Solana, allowing incredible flexibility and your ability to take assets on one chain, Bitcoin here in Counterparty, and move it between blockchains, literally at the touch of one button. Let's say you wanted to take it to ordinals on Bitcoin. Literally one button, jump tool, is going to allow you to transfer that from any other blockchain to Bitcoin. That's the power of what Emblem is doing because the native asset, in this case, the Nakamoto card, never leaves its native chain. There's no burning. There's no locking it in a bridge that may get hacked. It simply lives inside of a Bitcoin wallet where the key is held in an NFT. That's how Emblem Vault works. And uh, I hope that makes sense for you guys.